Hi everyone, welcome to our MTM videos training 101 for computer RX software. So today we'll get an overview of how to use those videos and also what value they could bring to your pharmacy. And I'll give you tips also to see how you can get your patients emails more easily. So MTM videos, we are tools delivered via email to increase patient adherence, pharmacy profits and save pharmacist time. I'm Dominique, the Implementation Specialist here at MTM Videos. You can join me at this email address and I was a former pharmacy technician. First, the situation here of the pharmacist in the US and Canada. 70% of patients take their medications incorrectly. We found that this leads to unnecessary disease progression, complications, reduced functional abilities, and also loss of revenue for pharmacists. Yeah, the solution we bring here with the videos are patient education videos oriented on health conditions or the use of devices. So the value of email videos for patients, easy to understand, better understanding equals for them better compliance. The more the patients understand how to use their medication or how their health condition affects them, are more likely to be compliant to their treatment. But for you, for the pharmacist, better compliance also means more revenues. I have an example here of a small pharmacy that has 100 prescriptions a day. Let's say that 30% of those patients, of those 100 prescriptions, will not be compliant, so will not renew their prescription as they should every month. That makes a total of 30. Let's say that with the videos, you will increase that. You will have one person out of 10 that will renew their prescriptions monthly as they should. So it brings you in your store three more RX every day. Let's say that this value is $6 per prescription. That makes a total for you at a minimum of $5,400. And these are conservative numbers. So only by increasing compliance uh, by a small amount, we'll, we're talking about three people a day that can bring you additional revenue in your pharmacy. Also, the emailed videos will allow you to increase your CMS star rating because you will bring um, more thoughtful care to your patients. You will be able with them to deliver consistent information. Monday to Friday from 9 to 5, videos don't change. They always provide the same high quality information. You will save precious pharmacist time and also they will allow you to reach all your customers, even those to who you deliver. The people that usually you talk over the phone to explain how the devices work, it will be more easy for you to un explain them how it works with a visual support like the video. Blood glucose and diabetes. Diabetes is a chronic disease which affects how your body uses blood glucose, commonly called blood sugar. What I was showing you was just the beginning of the diabetes video. It is part of the health conditions videos. Those health conditions cover 18 different topics for a total of 74 videos. Here is the complete list of the topics we cover. Actually, our topics cover the top 300 most sold medications in the US. So uh, there's a good chance that for any prescription you receive, there will be a video associated to it. Second library is the how to use devices videos. Here's an example with the handy handyhaler. Handy -hailer. First, open the protective cap by pulling it upwards or by pressing on the green button. Lift the white mouthpiece. Take the blister pack that contains the capsules, fold it, and separate the two blister strips. To remove a capsule, first expose it by peeling back the foil, then turn the blister strip upside down. Keep the mouthpiece straight up during the whole procedure. Put a capsule in the center chamber of the device. Close the mouthpiece until you hear a click. Make sure that the protective cap is open before pressing on the green button. This button will make a hole in the capsule and will allow the medication to be so released. This is just an extract, a small part of the handy video, but it gives you a good idea of the 
slowness of the video it allows the patient to take his device at the same time as he watches the video. And also we provide clear explanations with large focus on the device itself. We have a total of 39 devices videos and more are coming like the contour glucose meter as well as the BG star glucose meters that will be coming soon, I think in the next weeks. But how to use those videos? Well, if you have the computer RX software, it's quite easy for you. Once you registered, you only have to enable in your computer RX interface the enable smart interaction setup with the little red check mark I'm showing you here on screen. Once that is enabled, you need your patient's emails. And usually that is the hardest part for the pharmacists because you have all the information you usually have on your patient file, but often you don't have that email and it's really precious. I will give you tips today to see how you can collect those emails from your patients. So a request is sent every time a new prescription is entered in the patient's file. It won't be sent every time, every month, the patient refills the prescription, only when it's a new one. And the second condition is the client has to go through the CRX point of sale. It has to be a CRX point of sale. If it's a different one, it won't work. And if the patient orders a medication but never pays for it, we will receive a request, but no email will be sent to him. So he won't receive anything. The second thing to, to understand is that emails are sent in batch by the computer RX export service each night at around 10 p.m. So it's normal if your patient in the morning didn't receive an email that was sent to him in the day because they will be all sent in batch around 10 p.m. That might change over time, but for now it's how computer RX wanted to work. And also, as I was saying, if no email is entered, no email will be sent, of course. What videos are sent? Well, our videos cover about 8,000 different molecules. So a group of pharmacists links the NDC numbers to one or more videos when there were video available for these molecules. So you won't know exactly what video was sent because it's all automated in the software but the association between NDC numbers and videos was made by a group of pharmacists. You also have the option to send emails manually from your dashboard at mtmvideos.com slash dashboard. You have to enter your username and password. If you don't know them, uh, you can ask uh, us for your username and password and we'll send them to you by email, no worries. You will log in to this uh, pharmacist portal where you can send info to your patients. If, for example, a patient filled a new prescription and you didn't have at the time his email address and afterwards he wants to receive the video, you could use the dashboard to send him the video after you have entered his prescription in his patient file. So you will write uh, salutations, first name, last name, and email. And then at the bottom, you will have the list of all the videos we have in which you can choose. You can send more than one at a time. It will be sent as an email to your patient. The patient receives an email from you. It really looks like an email coming from your pharmacy and not from Smart Interactions or MTM videos. So for that reason, we have a very good opening rate. The patient will see a customized message with the logo of your pharmacy, your pharmacy name, and a link to click on his patient page because the videos are not inside the email itself, but he will receive a link on which he can click to access his own patient page. On the patient page, again, we can find your logo, your pharmacy name, a picture of you, of your staff, or of your pharmacy. As you can see, we have a picture of a lady pharmacist on the right here. You can change that picture for the one you want. And you will have the list of video topics the patient receives. And finally, the patient can watch his video as many times as he wants from home, show it to other people if he wishes, and they will stay on his patient page for a certain amount of days, I think for 90 days, they will be on his patient page.
page. And now I'll show you what it really looks like on the dashboard. Here it is. So you'll enter your username. Here's, here I have my example username, password and login. You click on send info. Then you'll enter all the information you want about your patient, name, last name, email. Choose the video you want to send. If you have more than one language available, you might have the chance to choose between English, French, and Spanish. And then you only choose, you click on send now, and the video will be sent by email. The patient will receive in his mailbox something that looks like this. So here I have my demo Jane Phillips. I will click on it. This is the email. And if the patient wants to unsubscribe, he always has the choice to do so here. You can click on the link to access your personal page. Here I received the diabetes video, so I have the four different ones here. But I could have a list with a bunch of different topics if my pharmacist sent a, a different topics or if I have different medications linked to different health conditions. There is no limit to the amount of video a patient can have on his patient page. Uh, yes, before we get to the other section, just I would like to say that you can customize your emails easily on our website. You get on this link here provided in the presentation, and it's all in the members section of our website. You enter name, a uh, name for signature that you'd like it to appear, and also you can submit two files, your logo as well as your pharmacy staff picture or your picture or whatever other picture you want to appear on their patient page. So uh, there's more to it. You can add coupons to the patient page for direct marketing purposes. Uh, maybe you saw when I was showing you the patient page uh, earlier that there was a section for a coupon. Here the coupon is the vitamin B12 coupon at the bottom right of the page. You can create coupons you want to associate to the topics, and you can associate a coupon to a topic or make it available to everyone. What I mean here is if you want to send, for example, a vitamin B12 coupon, um, $4 off a vitamin B12 bottle, only to people who sent, who received, sorry, the diabetes video, it's possible to do so possible to link it to a topic in particular or to make it available to anyone about any topics that are sent. This is what the coupon looks like. You can add a title, choose an image, write your own text and also choose an expiry date. It's really easy to do because you can do it. I'll get back to that page later. You can do it here again on our website. In the member section, we'll have a space where you can create your coupon you have a small uh, form to fill and we'll create that coupon within 24 hours for you. Add it to your account. If you have the enterprise version of the MTM video to go further in your program with the MTM videos, you could have the enterprise version, which allows to submit an order online uh, directly from the coupon. The patient fills a form and you'll receive an order by email. So that's quite interesting for marketing purposes again. Finally, in order for all this to work, you get, have to get your patient's emails. This is the starting point, because if you have no emails, they won't receive the coupons and they won't receive the videos. So that's really how it starts. First step for you is to meet with your staff. It's really important to explain them the value of the MTM videos. As I explained it to you before about patient compliance and about how it can make the patient healthier, but as well bring more revenues to the pharmacy, makes everyone happier. And it's important for them to understand how it will affect both the patients and the pharmacy. As soon as they will understand that, they will be uh, more comfortable in asking the patient's email. So they can ask the patient his email either at reception while filling the patient file as usual, or if they're over the phone with the patients, uh, once in a while they could ask uh, the patient, oh, could I ask you for your email address? We would like to send you patient education videos and then complete the patient file with the email address. 
We also have a few tools that can help you with that, such as the patient sign-up sheet. So, uh, we found out that sometimes when technicians or pharmacists are in a rush, they don't have time or think about asking for the email. So that patient sign-up sheet uh, can be really useful in these situations. It can be used either by pharmacy techs or by the staff at POS. So you leave that sheet, you give it to the patient, he reads about the pre-educational videos and can fill, in, fill it in with his email, first name and last name. So you can update his patient file later. Next time he'll bring in your prescription, he'll receive the videos from you. We also have other tools, uh, which we call marketing tools. They are about advertising your new service to your customers. So if the customers know you are implementing automatic video sending in your pharmacy, they will be more likely to ask for it and give their email address uh, even before you ask for them. So we have a bag insert and in-store poster you can install as well as a staff button. And you can download all these tools uh, in the member section of our website. I've been talking about the member section for a few things. Now I'll show you exactly where it is. If you get here on our website, you click on members here and you will get all the information I was talking about earlier. How to customize your emails, you click here, how to create coupons. And there are a bunch of things available for um, people who have the paying licenses, such as the presentations that I didn't talk about today. But you have the marketing tools here that you can download directly on your computer and print as well as the list of the videos we provide in that members section. So what to do next? First step for you would be to customize your emails and patient page if you didn't do it yet by adding your logo, pharmacy name, signature, and picture of your staff. It can be done in the member section that I was just showing you. Second step for you would be to get your patient's emails. So meet with your staff, explain them the value of the videos, you can print a bunch of patient sign-up sheets you can leave at POS and at reception to give to your patients so you can get those emails. And you have to continue asking emails as long as you have patients who didn't give them to you. And third step for you would be to register to the MTM Videos 201 webinar because the videos are available in-store on an iPad. It is really interesting and it can bring you more revenues using nutrient depletion videos as well as a bunch of other options that are available with the iPad, such as marketing options you can have. So I really encourage you to register to this webinar if you want to learn more about the MTM videos. And if you ever have any questions, you are always welcome to contact us for support. This is our phone number. You can, you can also write me a quick email if you have questions or visit our website. Thank you for attending this MTM videos 101 training. I hope I will see you again at the 201 training. And if you have any questions again, feel free to contact us. Thanks a lot, everyone, and have a great day.